Hi, I'm Casey Malone with another edition of the Week in Review. Authorities are investigating what appears to be a case of drug theft from Grand County Emergency Medical Services. An employee is suspected of stealing morphine and fentanyl sometime in late 2013. Officials couldn't say specifically whether drugs were stolen from EMS vehicles or facilities or how much, but the employee in question was terminated in December for an unrelated occurrence, according to Branch Chief Jean Marie Bakehouse. The CBI is currently investigating the incident, though no arrests have been made. Colorado Headwaters Land Trust is the new holder of the Uray Ranch Conservation Easement, an easement that Trout Unlimited has held since 1984. The 229-acre easement is located along the Colorado River on both sides of Highway 34 between the town of Granby and the lake. The easement is an important addition to the Land Trust's Colorado River Initiative, a project to protect private lands in Grand County. We are in the process of protecting several working ranches within the river corridor, an increasingly important part of our conservation work, said Karst Pustmuller, executive director of the Colorado Headwaters Land Trust. The town of Granby will move forward with the replacement of the Moraine Park water system after the former owner's estate was settled in court. The town received a loan from the Colorado Water Resources and Power Development Authority worth $700,000, according to Granby town manager Wally Baird. The loan should cover the costs of design and construction of the new system. Residents of Moraine Park have suffered from a number of issues with the community's privately owned and antiquated water system for years. Under the new contract, the town will own 50 acre feet of the system's water rights and manage the system. Scott Penson, head of the Grand County Building Department, has resigned. Penson was employed for 20 years with the Building Department, but tendered his resignation following an embezzlement scandal in his department. Employee Bridget Irish was arrested and charged with more than 900 counts of embezzlement last month. East Grand Schools hired the principal from Moffat County High School to fill the principal position at Middle Park High. Tom Schellinger brings high energy and a strong knowledge of new big state mandates, according to East Grand Superintendent Judy, Jody Mimic. We're very excited to have him. He comes with a lot of experience in rural mountain communities. Schellinger starts August 11th, and the school district is planning open houses and parent meetings to introduce the new principal to the community. That's going to do it for this edition. For TV18, I'm Casey Malone, and I'll see you next time on The Week in Review.